Today is just a quick video to show you how to use the sequence function in Excel. So sometimes we want to be able to create a sequence of numbers. And if we're just doing a single row, then it's pretty easy to do the first two in a sequence. And then we can just drag down to get the rest of the numbers that we want. If we want them going up by something other than ones, we just separate those first two numbers and let it go up like that. The nice thing with the sequence function is that it lets us go across rows and columns. So if we take a look, we'll come in sequence, and we can see that there is up to four parameters that we put in there. Rows, columns, start, and step. So the rows and columns tells us how many rows and or how many columns we run across. Start and step will tell us the starting point and how big we want each increment. So we can just enter a single digit in here, let's say five, and it will just create five rows, one, two, three, four, five. But we can come back and we can say, actually, we would like to go across five rows and five columns. We're going to start at one and we're going to go up in twos. And then what it's going to do is it's going to give us exactly what we asked for. So here is five rows. Five columns, started at one, and going up in twos. We can change that. Maybe we want to start at 11. And it'll update all of it for us. So in a situation where we need to have a little bit more adjustment of rows and columns for some sort of sequence of numbers, the sequence function is a really handy way of going about it.